Hey guys, how you going? Welcome back to the third episode of J David's. Today we're going to be doing a precision landing test. So what this is going to do is it's going to test the precision landing system built in to the Mavic Pro. So basically what you do is take off from a specified target. So I take off from an orange landing mat. It'll take a photo of the ground when it takes off. Supposedly it does. And then when it lands, it's supposed to land directly on that mat. So we're going to see if that actually works. Let's get started. As you can see, we'll be taking off from this orange landing mat. Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. So today we're going to do, as I said, the precision landing test. So first of all, to take off from precision landing, you press the take off button, which is on the left hand side, sort of in the middle of the screen. It's got a little arrow pointed up. Press that button and then there'll be an option that says precision take off. Click that, which will make the aircraft fly up to 6 meters, take a photo of the ground and then wait for your command if you want to go for a fly or if you want to put in a waypoint, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to slide to take off now. So I slid it across the screen one sec. Slide to take off. Take off. The home point has yeah, been updated. Please days. check it on the, the map. The thing that you can hear is just the, um, it's the collision avoidance system. It's just detecting the trees, but we don't need to worry about that. So once it's up to six meters, I'll take it more. Give it about five seconds after you do take it to the six meters. Five seconds is fine. Now we can rise up. So the other is going to rise up to probably about 70 meters maybe. We don't really need to go that high to be honest because we're not going to do a long test. It's only going to be probably about a kilometer. We are in sports mode so we should get pretty quickly, pretty quick speed. Yeah, we'll go up to here. We'll just fly it out now. <clears throat> okay. So we are going forward. <clears throat> Definitely moves pretty quick. So we'll probably take it maybe 500 meters just because I'd like to get a few more videos done. Um, I don't want to use too much battery just for something that doesn't really need a have anything. I even hit record as I said. I always record on my videos. Um, so we're currently travelling around 63 kilometres an hour. A bit of wind's probably pushing that. We'll take it to 500 metres. 500 metres, I'm going to hit the return hand function. I've now hit that. You'll hear it no. obviously. And I'm just going to place the controller down so I can get the I'm not touching anything at the moment, this is all <clears throat> um, the drone itself. So it is currently about 400 metres away as you can see. It's coming home, it comes home a bit slower than it goes out. It comes home in position mode, um, which is, it activates the sensors, but it means that the top speed's a bit lower. But I don't really need a high speed, I just wanted to get out as quick as I can, so I can return it as quick as I can. That is recording. It's about 200 metres to go, you should hear it pretty soon. Oh, okay, you would have noticed it went up to 100 metres. I've got it set to rise to 100 metres before it comes home. Now, I always have the control ready just in case this doesn't work and I need to intervene if it's going to crash, but just in case, it's coming back now. Okay, it is right above us. Whoa, well, okay, it's gone. Looks like it's on track, I think. I'm just going to place the video. Landing. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, so if you have any more videos or tutorials on drones, hit the subscribe button. I will be uploading more in the future. I'm just going to start off with one or two and see how it goes. Thank you guys.